everyone, it's Alicia with Quilts on Tour and I am here in our new house in Georgia. We finally got settled in. Uh, I've got all my sewing room unpacked, uh, but we're thinking about moving it to a different room, so it might be a little more unpacking. Um, but I've got the December uh, subscription boxes all packed up and ready to go out in the next day or so, and I wanted to show you what was inside. Um, I'll have the link in the description box below where you can sign up for the email for when they're available to sign up. Um, right now our list is full, um, but I hope to open it up um, in January. And if you put your email address um, in that box, you'll get an email um, letting you know when it's open and ready for you to subscribe. So let's dive right in. So the first thing I put in um, is a spool of thread. I really like the Guterman 50 weight. Um, it's great for hand quilting um, as well as, you know, with the machine, but I really like the Guterman for hand quilting. Our pattern this time um, is Frolic with Cluck Cluck Sew. Um, and this takes um, five inch squares or uh, two and a half inch strips. And there's the pattern there. It's really cute. And we also put in a mini take along color wheel here. This is great for when you want to go to the quilt shop and you're not sure what color goes with what color and um, it's pocket size fits right in your purse. Um, but I love using this, it's great. All right, and let's see, we'll save the fabric for last. Um, inside every box, I put in this little treat um, that I made for everyone for the Christmas season. It's this cute little Christmas tree ornament uh, that I made out of buttons for you guys. I hope you enjoy them and when you see them on your tree, you'll think of me and how much I appreciate every one of you. All right, we have one pound of ground walnut shells. These are great to put inside pin cushions and you can do about Two, depending on the size of your pincushion, you can do about two pincushions with a pound of ground walnut shells. Uh, we have a bonus pattern in here. It's called Granny's Pins. Um, I'll put also the link in the uh, description below where you can get this, um, the PDF for this. Um, but it shows you how to make a little pincushion uh, that you can use your walnut shells with. This was a lot of fun to make. And I'm also gonna do a little tutorial on how to put this together. Um, so we'll also link that below. And our fabric, oh, let's first do these funny goodies. I found these cute little quilty pencils. So each box will have a quilty pencil in it. It has little quilt blocks on it. And um, each one also has some kind of saying on it. This one says, to quilt is divine, to finish is a miracle, <laughs> which is true. So each pencil has a quilty design and a little quilty quote. And then um, friction markers. I love these. These are fine tip. Uh, they're perfect for marking on your fabric um, and if they iron away. Um, so there'll be assorted colors in the boxes. And our fabric this time is by Maywood Studios and it's Sagaru. I think is how you say that. Right there. Um, but I really love the colors. There's It's uh, jewel tone. A lot of blues and greens and reds and purples. I really like, these are my favorite, these ones. And this one, and it's got like a little metallic sheen to it. I'm not sure if you could see that, but. So each box will get two, two charm packs in their box this time. So I had a lot of fun putting this box together and trying to figure out what might be useful to you guys. And I hope you enjoy it and leave a note in the comments below and let me know what you think. Um, and again, if you want to sign up for the email when they're available, um, that link will be in the description below. And don't forget, today's a great day to go quilt something. Thanks for watching.